One of our ex-players, uh, Nicole Backhouse, who had been with the club since she was six and played right through until she's 12. Because girls can't play after 12, they have to leave the club after that. And she left, but she always had the passion and the love for the game. She went on and played uh, Union, and when she came back and she said, Beryl, is there any chance of us having a uh, women's rugby league team? Why not? In the past we've had trouble um, getting numbers and it's good to see that after, you know, I think about eight years of um, us being in existence, we're still pulling some numbers and getting some younger girls come through. When I lived in Queensland there was quite a strong um, competition up there and um, I just loved it to pieces and I hadn't played down here since I was 12 years old. So in not wanting to travel to Western Sydney or you know, South Sydney, it's, um, it was good to have some local competition and some local games and be able to play with girls that you know you live locally with as well. 32, 33, 34. The girls here are really committed. Um, they come from all around the, uh, the uh, Sydney area and uh, the commitment to training is outstanding. Um, they're here a couple of times a week um, and they're really willing uh, uh, on the training paddock and I believe they are too on the field. It's been good to you know get down and see these girls, they, uh, they're working hard down there. We've got um, Donnie Singe, our trainer, making them work hard so um, so far so good and uh, you know, I'm interested to see how, you know, how they go uh, later in the session. Keep going! 16! I play rugby league because I like playing a team sport and I did play rugby originally and then when Nicole decided to make the Forest and Ferris women's team I came over and wanted to try rugby league and it was difficult at first transferring the school from rugby union to rugby league but I enjoyed the teamwork, I do like defending girls and I just like the whole team sport and being able to play for a great club like Forestville. You don't want to make the ball, I don't want to go like this because I get pushed off, yeah? So try and stay elbows in and get up under, under an, an elbow and hook it. It's great to see the girls actually getting involved in the physicality of the game, um, whether it be at training or whether it be um, playing with these girls on weekends. I think um, yeah, that, that's the, uh, the spirit we, we want to see in rugby league and uh, I think they're definitely committed and they're, uh, they're devoted to rugby league as a game. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, but um, certainly got the technique there. And um, you know, the biggest thing is rugby league plays is you need heart. And, you know, she didn't think twice, man. She came straight at me. So um, very impressed by um, you know how all of them have went uh, in the, the defensive uh, part of it. And uh, they're certainly showing some good skill too now. I definitely think it's good to see women being recognised, not just as players, but all the coaches and also the all the co contribution that women make in the junior league and outside with all the men's sport, the canteen from doing the manager's jobs for junior league and it's really important for the NRL to recognise everybody, especially the women that contribute to the game. I think it's super exciting to see the amount of involvement there is in um, women in all aspects of league um, these days coming through. Uh, you know, a couple of decades ago it wasn't really seen as a female um, arena and so to see there be so many positions made available or so much involvement that could be made um, on the part of females is awesome for all, all sides of community really. Yeah.